Hi guys, this is Angus. Um, I'm a 3D animator and a filmmaker and um, just wanted to explain the project that I'm doing and uh, give you a heads up. This is going to be a free training series that's going to run on my website Blender90 uh, which is a training portal for Blender and it's also going to run on Steemit and um, I'll go into that a bit more at the end. Um, there's going to be four pieces of software that we use. The software is going to be Blender which is um, the main uh, main animation suite that I use which is also used for modeling and stuff. I also use ZBrush. Um, Blender is completely free. I use ZBrush uh, in my personal workflow um, but Z ZBrush is a paid um, software so um, I'm not going to make the tutorials totally specific to ZBrush but at certain points I will show you how I do things in ZBrush. Uh, predominantly I'm going to try and focus mainly in Blender just so that everyone can keep up with these tutorials without having to pay for software. And uh, then the other two tutorial suites that I really use a lot, um, started to use a lot, are um, both made by Blackmagic. They're completely free. One's called Fusion, which is a fantastic compositor, a node-based compositor, really fantastic. It rivals After Effects. And the other one is a program called DaVinci Resolve, which is a really, really amazing editor uh, with great color grading tools, and that's completely free as well. So. The, uh, this this work that I'm just showing you here, this is a video I did in uh, I did this in Blender a couple of years back, it's Blender and ZBrush, and um, the 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 idea in this was I had a green screen shot of the artist who's called Jesso, and she was singing the song, so I had to stabilize it and isolate it, and then we only had this face shot, and it was trying to find something to do with that shot, so so I built a suit, a space suit, and an environment, and I put her face which was filmed for real into a 3D suit which was a kind of de facto body extension for her. Um, I'm going to just let this play for a bit so you can see some of the images of it while I'm talking. So you can see that it gets quite good results in Blender. This is a couple of years back and um, so what, I'm, what I think is a really interesting thing is if I take the whole approach that I take to making anything in software from the beginning when I set up the scene, build the objects, build the environment, uh, all the way through to uh, rendering them and animating it so animating it then rendering it and then taking it out into compositing and I think if you can see that whole process it'll be really awesome and how I'm proposing doing this is um, that I'm going to try and do 10 minute tutorials every day starting with the first one which will be me setting up a scene building some basic character stuff just optimizing the scene showing you where the, the main buttons are in Blender not you know not, not a really super in-depth tutorial because I don't believe in those but just very practical and then at the end of that you should be able to apply those those lessons those 10 minute th that you've learned in that 10 minute tutorial and you should be able to start working with that immediately and then hopefully you know every day or every second day I'll be coming out with the next one and if you can keep up with it then basically by the end of the process you'll you'll be really good at using the software and um, I think it would be a great introduction and all the art that I create in this project I'm going to make it um, you know, open source and you know, free to download. I'm going to share all the project files. So there's nothing to pay for this training. It's just, um, you know, it's just to kind of get people collaborating and and learning. You know, my skill set in Blender. It, everyone's got different skill sets, and there's a lot of other tra trainers out there. But I'm going to try and just really focus it down to being really fast and simple and efficient and productive. And I hope you get something out of it. Okay, um, and. Yeah, as I said, uh, there's this other video I shot of her, Jess, the singer. So right at the end of the series, uh, the, this first training series, uh, which I'll be teaching you the basics, at the end of that training se series, I'm going to run straight into this and I'm going to commence building out a real music video project, which will then take me several weeks to do. So you can follow along with that as well if you're interested. And where you're going to be able to find all the tutorial files and stuff, um, just to show you. so. Excuse me. <laughs> I've got a website, uh, Blender 90, which I set up a few years ago. I, I was going to do a bunch of training, but I was just really busy with work, so I didn't get to. I've already put quite a lot of content on there, and all the training series is going to be on this website. It's kind of a put portal. There'll be tutorial links and all that stuff. But I'm, I'm also on Steemit. Um, my personal um, my personal Steemit profile is steemit.com Angus G, and I'll put the link to that in the in the video description. That's my personal Steemit if you want to follow me. So within Steemit, if um, if you know how it works, you can reshare other people's content, and it could get a bit confusing. So what I thought was I also set up on Steemit 
a dedicated Blender 90 because that's the name of my uh, website portal that I'm trying to teach people with. And that Blender 90 uh, portal, which currently has literally no content on it because I'm just starting this process now, that will be where I only keep all my Blender 90 tutorials teaching people Blender and specifics about animation. And I thought that was a good way to do it because that keeps it nice and clean. So there'll be the Steam at Blender 90 feed, there'll be the Blender 90 portal, um, and there's my personal um, my personal steamer and you can comment and sort of chat to, chat to me on those forums and then also on Blender 90 if you sign up to the newsletter what I'm going to be doing is um, as I release every new tutorial I'll just send out a quick email to everyone who's who's following this, the series and also all the resources uh, they're, they're, they're going to be on the website so you know everything you need for the file the tutorial the scene files all that stuff will be on the website but um, in addition to that, I'm also going to be giving uh, uh, quite a lot of free image libraries, which which are more extensive than just the ones that. So on the on the tutorial, I'll give the images that I use for the tutorial, and everything will be open source. But then I'm also going to give sort of data packs and packs of textures, packs of materials, and uh, I do a lot of photography, so I've got a lot of textures. Um, so it's really worth signing up to that newsletter because uh, once it gets going, you'll be getting a lot of free resources that you can use in your daily workflow and also it'll give you an email address if you need to ask me questions you can do that and stuff um, it's the, I, the reason I want to set up on Steemit is um, I want the Blender 90 Steemit page to be the main forum where if you really need to ask a question because you can you can ask the most detailed question and put screenshots up and or you can show your own work and all that stuff and that's a little bit it's a little bit more detailed than a comment section on a website um, and also you, you can earn money from your comments which is really good so so I'm doing a Blender 90 Steam at the Blender 90 portal with the newsletter which will then be giving free data packs and then also, also my own personal Steam it. so I just wanted to clarify that I wanted to introduce myself and um, I really hope you're going to get a lot, of, a lot out of this tutorial series um, this, this is the first video and uh, yeah I hope you enjoy it oh and yeah so just a quick run through the software so we're going to be using Blender this is Blender, um, which is just amazing f free open source software. It pretty much does everything that you need to do. Um, I'm, going to, I'm going to teach ZBrush um, because I'm really good at ZBrush and I've been using it for years and yeah, it's one of my favorite tools ever. Uh, Blackmagic Fusion, uh, let's click on the link for that. Uh, Fusion, which is produced by Blackmagic and that's a completely free, uh, very, very advanced compositing suite which is amazing. Uh, DaVinci Resolve, which is a great editor and a great... It actually, DaVinci Resolve does three things really well. It does amazing audio editing. It's a really, really brilliant editor, just for, you know, like Premiere, equivalent of Premiere, but it's got incredible color grading tools, so that's that's really a great a great tool. Um, along the way will be... because um, I'm, I'm kind of getting rid of the Adobe Creative Suite out of my workflow, because in Australia the, um, they've hiked the price up to ridiculous proportions. It's now it's well over $100. It's like $110 a month now. And I just don't feel like it's justified. So the um, the alternatives, I'm going to use a lot of Krita, which is a great painting package. Um, I'm probably going to use GIMP, which I'm not going to show you here now if I have to do any Photoshop stuff. And I'm also going to use Inkscape, which is, you know, pretty much the, the equivalent of Adobe Illustrator. And so the reason I'm using Krita... Inkscape and um, GIMP, it, it kind of replaces the the tools that you need in the Adobe Creative Suite and means that you can keep up with all the training without having to spend any money on software, which is great, right? So yeah, let's, um, without any further ado, I'm going to start recording the first actual tutorial and I hope you really enjoy this. If you've got any comments or, um, yeah, you probably won't have any comments now, but as the tutorials go along, if you've got comments or questions, um, please feel free to reach out to me on any of those three forums. Thanks. Bye.